Hey, welcome back. Congratulations on buying a couple Rocky Takis. Unfortunately, some of your friends probably don't have these. Well, let me show you how to get the best bang for your buck and how to connect these radios to radios made by other manufacturers and of other styles. FRS, GMRS, business radios, ham radios, and even public safety radios that are on the right band. Hang tight. Let me teach you the basics so you can do this on your own radios. If you go back to our earlier video on privacy tones, you'll remember that a privacy tone really is a misnomer. It's not private at all. All it is is a key to open a locked door. And once that door is open, everything can pass through and all transmissions can be heard. The key to getting radios to operate together is understanding the frequency and the privacy tone. You match those two numbers and you've got it. Remember, there are two types. There's DCS and there's CTCSS, digital, analog. That's the only difference. If you can match the frequency and match the tone, you're set. Now, I'm not going to teach you everything about how to program your specific radio because chances are I probably don't know your specific radio. But I do want to explain the fundamentals and the basics. So, for instance, right now, this Rocky Talkie is set to privacy tone zero, which means it's off. There is no privacy tone. So, in this state, all I have to do is match up the frequency and make sure that the other radios on the system don't have a privacy tone in place either. Since this one is set to channel 17 and then the bottom button here where it says CT, press and hold that, it says off, this has its greatest interoperability. If you don't want to spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to match codes, you're on a long road trip and a little interference isn't going to bother you, turn your privacy tone off. Remember, the first 22 channels of a Rocky Talkie have no privacy tone enabled. The rest of the channels have an automatic privacy tone assigned to them that matches other Rocky Talkies and not other brands, just Rocky Talkies, so that they take the guesswork out of matching these codes. You can go to channel 125 on two Rocky Talkies and you've implemented your own privacy tone and frequency selection at the same time. Very simple. But let's take a look at this Motorola. This is the T800. If I want to adjust the frequency, I tap this four square button here. The 17, which is the channel flashes, I can change the channel here by up and down. I tap the four square button again. The code selection flashes, and I can cycle through what appears to be 121 different codes. Now, when I say you have to match the number, this is only a name that references a code deeper down in the software. Okay. You don't really know the value of 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 121 unless you go to the radio manufacturer's manual. And I'm going to show you how to do that on a couple of these in a minute. Now with a ham radio, it's slightly different. Ham operators are accustomed to having a transmit tone only, not a transmit and receive. Now when you're using a ham radio and you're trying to access a repeater, typically what you will do is have a code that is only emitted when you're transmitting, you won't have a code to block your receive signal. That's the big difference between these two. You have to set the transmit and receive CT on a ham radio to the same value as a Rocky Talkie. Now, when it comes to public safety radios like this, there are a couple things you need to keep in mind. Number one, they are not easily programmed. You have to purchase the manufacturer's software. You have to get the license and you have to program these from a computer. There are some variants that allow you to do some front panel programming, but we're not going to talk about those today because that's kind of rare and really detailed. If you are purchasing a former public safety radio or a former business radio, you need to make sure that the frequencies that you need for FRS, or rather GMRS, are accepted by these radios. It's important to note that in order to operate these, they technically can only operate on GMRS frequencies and only after you have a GMRS license. 
A GMRS license is really easy to get. You go to the FCC website, you pay a fee, you just register who you are. A GMRS is different from an FRS radio in that it is allowed to have a removable antenna. This FRS cannot have a removable antenna. And it's allowed to transmit at slightly more power than an FRS radio. FRS are limited at two watts on most channels and a half a watt on some. So just keep that in mind. So I really just want to show you that it is possible to program a public safety radio if it is in the right UHF band. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the basics of a Rocky Talkie. So as I mentioned a moment ago, the first 22 channels have no CT scan by nature. That H stands for high power. This is your channel designator and that is your channel value. When you go to channel 23, you see CT pop up. One thing you'll notice as you're cycling through the channels is that the H will sometimes switch to an L. There's a low channel, there's a high channel. And this can also be adjusted on the side here with the HL button. But a channel that's programmed with low power can never transmit on high power. A high power channel can sometimes transmit on low power if you set it. The reason for that is that these are licensed based off of specific band allocations by the FCC. I don't understand why they chose those specific frequencies to be low power, but somebody who understands this a lot better than me probably does. Please share that with me in the comments if you know. As we cycle through the channels, you can see that it is uh, that the CT is enabled. And it doesn't tell us what the CT value is. It really doesn't. It's, it's hidden within the software, and I'm okay with that because they make the rest of this really simple. So we're at channel 128. We still have a CT, cross over to channel one. By default, we have no code. So let me show you how to set a code. We're gonna go back to channel 17 because this is, um, this is one of my, my usuals. So on the side here, you have three options. You have your push to talk, your high low button, and your CT button. If you press and hold the CT button, it typically will give you OF for off. Then cycle through the toggle on the top and uh, you are given a vast number of CT selections. Now, it says CT up here in the top again and in a minute it's going to switch over to DCS. All right, so we have a flashing CT and now we have DCS, digital coded squelch. Analog, digital. Digital, analog no difference. So since this has a random value, how do you know what it means? How do you know that 55 has any correlation to any other radio? Well, sometimes you get lucky just by matching the numbers. But the truth of the matter is you really ought to go to the manufacturer's website, pull up the owner's manual, and there will be a list of all the frequencies and all of the codes used on all of these radios. So let me show you how to do that now. So on this Motorola, I'm going to try and match the numbers. I'm just going to see. I don't know if these values are the same or not. So we're going to go 17, 55, 17, 55. Let's see. <laughs> Would you look at that? These two match. I'm kind of impressed. So that's the Motorola T800. And here's a Rocky Talkie. I bought these for my kids. I bought this for myself because I like special things. So those are the basics of how to program another radio to communicate with your Rocky Talkie. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. But remember, if you go to the manual for both radios and you match the frequency, picture that, the room in a building, and the code number, whether digital or analog, and if it's a ham, remember to program it on the RX and TX. You'll do just fine. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. I've really enjoyed getting comments on past videos. 
and I welcome suggestions for future videos. Thank you so much, and have a great day.